Welcome everybody to Dial R's Hulik Tactics. Tonight we're going to do kind of a dual purpose video. Uh, first we're going to discuss, well I guess in all cases we're going to discuss my favorite character in the game to date. I've been playing for a little over a month on my free to play account and my main uh, pay to win account. And that character is none other than Maserani, a healer. Uh, we're going to do a deep dive on him and I'm also going to discuss why he is so good for free to play and pay to win. So, uh, just curious who your favorite character is in the game so far. Uh, put it down in the comments and tell me why. I'd be curious to know. So, let's uh, dive in to Maserani. First, we're going to go to my free-to-play account. And I haven't spent a penny on this game. And I was able to get Crete and Maserani both, what is that, legendary. Because if you can time it right, so I used... Uh, limited tickets. I used everything I had in week three on the double chip event, which is when you got the Crete banner. And then I saved every single thing I could. I think I did buy one gene hybrid, uh, but I was able to, with what I got on pulls and one gene hybrid, I was able to get Crete this high. But he, Crete's good and all, but he, he's no Maserani. Maserani he plays double duty, and we'll we'll get we'll get to that. But Maserani is, is the best healer in the game. But the healers in Eternal Evolution can also kind of work as tanks, and that is why uh, Maserani, more so than Crete, is the my favorite and the most beneficial character to both my accounts because he can do everything. Um, let's dive into him real quick. Yeah, just a cool looking dude too. So the uh, the Cosmic Scholar, yes, he is a healer. Serena is really good as well. Serena is like almost on par with Maserani. But the reason why Maserani is so good is because of this ability right here. So uh, Maserani heals all allies by 2% of max HP and increases their attack by 9% for 5 seconds. So obviously, you know, add 4% to that, right? So that's 13% for 5 seconds. Add the talent modifier. Um, so, oh wait, healing effect, sorry. So add the talent modifier, and that attack is now 14% for eight seconds. So this is his first skill that is not his summon. Now keep that in mind, 14% for eight seconds. Go over to his exclusive. You definitely want this guy at 20. You're gonna need him at 20 to do double duty as a tank and a healer. And at 20, very important. It's just above my head. In fact, let's go like this so it's completely above my head. So the Astral pra Praise, which is that ability that we just discussed, is enhanced. The attack of the two units in the back row is doubled, right? When there are insufficient units in the back row, prior to the highest attack. So I read this as um, this ability is going to be double. He's going to get double the attack bonus. Because if it was straight double the character's attack... That's broken. So if it was 14 with the talent modifier on the ability uh, before, that's to your whole allies on the field. This one at 20 gives the back, doubles it for the back row. So the back row gets 28% uh, in, in my case since I have it at uh, with the talent modifier at 14 for 8 seconds. That is huge. So not only is he going to do mega mega heals because he's a great AoE healer. Uh, but he's also going to do, uh, he's going to buff all of your character's attack, and he's going to supercharge your characters in the back row's attack, making them do even more damage. Now, keep in mind, you are going to want at least his 10. Uh, this is the 10 right here. Increase, at least, increase the range of your ultimate skill by 100%. So, his ultimate skill, if you play it on manual, and you will have to play it on manual quite a bit, I find that sometimes he targets himself or someone near him, whereas I want him to target my attackers and my Crete that are way downfield. So, you'll want, if you guys are struggling, um, try it on manual, uh, because then it's this ultimate right here. It's a big old AoE heal. Uh, heals a allies within range, and that range is doubled if you get exclusive 10 for 7% of his max HP, and that goes up. And then for the next 4 seconds, heal healed allies will continue to heal by a very, very marginal amount. This really doesn't matter. So, uh, I'm not going to get into his other abilities, so maybe let's look at his passive. Uh, when he heals an ally, he also prov Ooh. So then he's pro also provides them with 6% damage reduction. 
um, this effect does not stack. So, uh, so that is good if you were targeting your front row characters or your techs. Now, Maserati, my favorite dude. Okay. If you're going to play him as a healer, straight healer, if you're just going to be just a healer, uh, this is, this is, don't mind this, uh, this is free to play, I'm working on it, but ideally, you'll, you would want all six pieces as vigorous, so three sets of vigorous, with HP, 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 you can also do abundant, which is the four piece set from, uh, altar, uh, so that will actually give you more healing, since that is a four piece, it gives 35% more healing, whereas, um, his healing is based on HP and three sets. So really, if you're running four pieces of abundance, you're missing out on four pieces of vigorous. Four pieces of vigorous gives you 30% more H, 30% more HP, but the abundant gives you 35% more healing. So at the high end, if you can get uh, really high end uh, or really good abundant pieces, run four abundant and two vigorous, or run three sets of vigorous. But just make sure. That you have HP on the hands, HP on the head, and HP on the boots. Now, if you were going to run him as a tank, which we I will show you on my uh, main account when we look at that footage. Your boots, you're going to make them uh, damage reduction. So you're going to need to do that because I'm going to show you instances where I use Maserani up front as the tank and the healer. So that's basically it always remember guys when you're using him he does not go in the back ever it's either front row or middle row put your highest damage healers in the back row especially at exclusive 20 right so and like i said this guy's really free to play friendly so i you burnt all my limited chips on crete and then i saved everything for maserani i think i pulled two copies but then you're gonna get a it's called the astral something you're gonna get an event uh, where it's like you got to fill in uh, a 6x3 board. Uh, you just got to complete missions, but it'll give you a free copy of Maserani. And at the same time, if you can save <clears throat> everything, uh, there's also, I remember, a, a uh, recruitment banner with Maserani as well. So I was able, free to play, to do the Astral Order, which is what it was called. That's an event. And the Astral Order is going to kick off. I do believe there was two days left on his summon banner when that event came up and then you're going to get the the recruitment or no the evolution event too so you're it's going to be an evolution event for maserani that gives free maserani copies and the astral order which gives you a free maserani copy saving all of your limited tickets after crete for maserani which means you're going to have to skip some i can't remember who's in between but you're gonna have to skip them um if you want a good maserani i got him up to immoral plus two or no Legendary plus two. Sorry, I don't have any mortals on my free to play. So he is not that difficult to get if you guys are just starting and you follow the path that I just laid out. Now, that's pretty much Maserati, how to get him, why I like him. Now let's look at some footage. So my main account, and there is my glorious, glorious Maserati. Maserati? Maser Maserani, yes, I said it right. My favorite character in the game for reasons we've already talked about. So mine, uh, when I got him in like an arena setting, uh, I will run him with full vigorous HP primaries. But when I'm using him in other game modes for PvE content, PvE, uh, I will equip him with damage reduction boots so that he can perform double duty. Uh, keep in mind, you do need exclusive 20 as well, because you do need that increased uh, healing, damage reduction, and uh, in most cases, you want the uh, big old benefit from the level 20 exclusive, the, uh, the extra attack to back row characters. So, where do I use him? Where do I use him? I use him everywhere, everywhere. But where he is going to shine for me, where I use him on a daily basis, uh, Disa Caves, as you see, there he is. This is my team for 15. Um, you know, I don't have Emma yet, so this is the one that gets it down the fastest for me. Uh, he pulls double duty. He can tank it like a boss. No one dies. Uh, he heals himself, keeps the team alive. Uh, don't need a tank. Just four big old damage dealers. So that's why he's awesome there. Quite awesome. 
Um, I also, 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 he also pulls double duty in Sincero Marsh. So really this team is uh, my 15 clear team. Uh, him, Botmart, and Senway do what they gotta do. They focus on the bosses and then Nagrama and Omar take care of all the ads, no problem whatsoever. As you see, not fast enough yet to get to the limited ticket, but damn close, right? And also in Guild Hunt, you're gonna use him on all the bosses. Uh, literally all the bosses. You're going to use him in Guild Hunt. Um, I have yet to try him in Twilight Lands. And I also use him in Ancient Altar. Uh, today, this morning, it is Monday. I just one keyed hard for the first time. So let's go into Hell and I'll show you my teams, which Team 3, let's just start there. Maserani is tanking. Keep in mind also, you need damage reduction boots to do this. And you also need exclusive 20. Uh, as well, Serena can do the same thing. As you see, she is my team two tank and healer. And um, on hard, uh, when I one keyed it, yes, uh, a lot of people on this team died, but I still got them down in one shot. Uh, but my team two team, Serena, uh, tanking, I didn't lose a single person. And yes, that is a Mooka, and my Mooka sucks. So <laughs> just use all your summoners here, guys. But anyways, Maserani. Uh, double duty and he performs his job admirably which uh, is why he is such a good character and why he is as uh, Zorn would say in uh, Fifth Element my favorite <laughs> alright so yeah that's Maserani um, it's basically highlights uh, everywhere I use him and uh, I would say that in most cases he tanks more than a heal well no he, he heals more than he tanks but I, I do really really like him up front as a tank um, also though keep in mind you're gonna want full immortal gear or full, full white gear sorry keep him let's actually move my mouse there we go you're going to want full white gear. You're going to want good secondaries. You're going to want to lay a lot of HP. This guy's going to have to suck up the damage. But um, So let's recap what Masrani does. Great healer. AoE heals for days. Um, and then Hots. I guess heal over times. He also has some heal over times. Uh, he has uh, huge attack damage buffing capabilities. Uh, and he can tank. So... He just does it all. Um, he is going to be a linchpin character, I would say. Oh, what are the top five? He's definitely one of the top five. So I'd say Bailey is number one um, due to the fact that he can do so much damage. Um, uh, and then I would say I would actually put Maserati second. And I would put Crete Leo tied for third. And then like an Emma and then like a Luke slash Ravina. So. That is my preference. Uh, maybe that's because I, I don't have an Emma or a Luke on my pay to win account. <laughs> but I got the other three. I don't have Leo. But uh, yeah, Bailey, Maserani, and uh, Crete, definitely. Crete, when I got Crete, he was a little bit of a game changer on my account. Uh, but when I got Maserani, that is when it just took my account to a whole other level. So uh, for that reason, he is my favorite. Again, uh, comment in the down below uh, your favorite character and why he's your favorite or why they are your favorite and uh, we'll chat so we're gonna wrap that one up guys uh, just a quick little double dip duty video for you that made no sense and it sounded stupid but um, yeah that's kind of a deep dive on Maserani uh, wrapped up with why he's so good and why is he my why he's my favorite character so uh, until next time guys cheers peace catch you the next one Bye-bye.